Striker's Battle Gear is no doubt one of the most popular damage dealing gear sets available. With its ability to drastically amplify weapon damage while also increasing rate of fire as well as weapon handling, making it a popular choice for agents. The icing on the cake is the gear set talent called Striker's Gamble, which enables every weapon hit to increase weapon damage by 0.65%, stacking up to 100. However, a stack is lost every second from 0 to 50, or two stacks per second between 51 to 100, which basically means you need to keep shooting and hitting enemies to maintain stacks for added damage. Because of this, Gunner is a great specialization option together with the Striker's gear set, because it generates ammo every 60 seconds so you can keep shooting and not worry about running out of ammunition. Not only that, Gunner also adds weapon handling, rate of fire, reload speed, and most importantly, armor on kill. Which brings me to my biggest negative remark about the Striker's gear set, its lack of survivability. The Striker set is innately a red core gear set. While it may seem tempting to run a full red core build to go all out on weapon damage output, but you can't do damage when you're incapacitated. That's why Gunner's armor on kill passive is so important, because you will be exposed shooting enemies most of the time to keep up stacks and, in the process, receive damage. So having armor on kill is crucial in this build considering you will be dealing out insane damage and killing enemies quickly, giving you back the armor you lost. I'd say that in itself is a perfect combination, don't you think? In addition, this is why I chose to procure two blue core brand sets, which also allows me to get additional armor on kill for a total of 30% armor from Gunner Specialization as well as from Bellstone and Palisade brand sets. But for this to work, it's necessary for me to use the Ninja Bike backpack, as it enables me to use three pieces of Strikers with one piece Bellstone and one piece Palisade and still get Striker's Gamble, along with Bellstone's Armor Regen and Armor on Kill, and Palisade's Armor on Kill and an additional 60% health, which is just huge. Now that we've covered the six slots for equipments, let's go over the weapons. My number one recommendation would be the Chameleon Exotic Assault Rifle. This is perfect for Striker, for its very high rate of fire, for gaining stacks faster, while also increasing its own critical chance and damage, weapon damage and reload speed. Also, the Chameleon's secondary attribute and optics increases critical chance significantly. My second recommendation represents a high risk, high reward principle, which comes with the Bighorn Exotic Assault Rifle, which is actually my favorite exotic AR in the game, even though I think I have a love-hate relationship with this gun. The Bighorn's talent the Big Game Hunter, which grants 4% headshot damage per headshot stack up to 25 times. It also has the ability to switch into a semi-automatic DMR, dealing 450% weapon damage per shot. But the main reason a lot of people hate this gun is because of its terrible recoil. Although I personally have gotten used to the Big Horn's recoil control, there are still agents who need help. I will be making build versions specifically for the big horn and to address this in future videos because I have tested and put together several builds which makes the big horn an amazing primary weapon choice. So subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified when I do. And my third recommendation would be for those who don't have the set exotic ARs yet. You can opt to use any weapon with a relatively high rate of fire. My preferred weapon talents are Preservation for added survivability, Optimist for more damage, Killer, and Strain for LMGs. However, you can use and experiment with everything. This is how flexible Striker's gear set is. And for hardcore agents, great weapon options would be the Eagle Bearer and the Ouroboros Exotic SMG. Good luck, agent.